Hey, Neil, hey. we should tell some people about the news so they just so they know. Are you sure? I think that's, I think that's what the people have asked. Us How many to things do. should we tell them about the news? Let's tell them everything. <laughs> oh, I didn't think about that. That's good. That's actually everything. better. What would you think I was going to say? I was going to say one thing. Oh. You said everything, well. and I said everything everywhere all at once. <sighs> Zing. Solid movie. It's going to win an Oscar. Uh, I'm telling you. So. I'm telling you. I know it's not just like. It is. It is definitely going to win transitions an between scenes. So we're going to help explain something to you that is going on in the news right now today. It's going to help you stay extremely smart. Oh, so smart. Look the at their brain. Honestly, their brain, it's so big, their eyes are bulging out a little bit. <laughs> they have commercials for that. Have you seen that for, no. for eye, eye bulge? Like your eyes are almost like two two popping out of your head. Yeah. And it like it helps them not do that. You know what's not great is mm -hmm. whenever you're a teacher and your eyes, they just bulge out a little bit because kids write mean comments. It's like they uh. think their desk is the YouTube and <laughs> the way they write comments That's is so by mean. carving it in with a knife. Wow. And so That's mean. I remember I've seen them. I've seen the comments. And on the desks. On the desks about the hard, teachers. Hard to delete, aren't they? It's hard to off, off the desk. It's hard to report that. <laughs> To report that comment for review. Oh, well, this is the Tyler Neal Explain Everything podcast. And we're going to explain to you comments from high schoolers. And we're also today going to explain that pushing up daisies is a real thing you can do now. Yeah, what does that even mean? Do you know when people say that? No. Pushing up daisies. Pushing up like, daisies. Because like if you're dead and you're in the ground, you can eventually decompose, and then maybe they'll have flowers over top of your uh, grave. And you're the one that's like helping <laughs> yeah, it. You're the yeah. compost. You're pushing up the daisies. So New York State has New now York City! <laughs> I'm sorry. Pace Bacani's house. Pace Col I'm the color. I think I might be the color commentary. <laughs> oh, mainly because wow. you have all the knowledge. That's all right. And I just say random stuff. I wish I could be doing your job. Well, you we could if I it. did the half that I was supposed to do. We could both do it. So they have legalized the process of human composting, also known as recomposting, okay. so which not, is a new word. Yeah, not composting. <clears throat> no. So composting is when you take your garbage and you put it like in this little thing and it's like eventually you kind of just turn it up and mill it over and over and over again. You put it out in your garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. this is different. This is actually using human bodies. So instead of being buried in a, a cemetery okay. or instead of being cremated uh -huh. and pressed down, having your ashes Shaking, turned, pushed into carbon turn over. to turn into a diamond. Pressed down, shaking over. Uh, oh, Is no. It Back into my bosom. The process <laughs> involved <laughs> this process. Scatter smother cover top. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that clip of that lady at Waffle House? Yeah, so with the chair, the chair? Oh, she just like brilliant. She just one hand and set it to the That's, ground. Yeah, she. And that ain't the first time she's been chair thrown at her. Oh my god, she has experience in the game. She does. So this process, this actually means now you could actually give your body over to a laboratory, and they use these microbes to break down your body into soil in a matter of weeks. And that soil is then given to your loved ones. Mm -hmm. Your loved ones can sprinkle that in a garden. And not water it. And, and oh my die. gosh. Because yeah. we all forget. It's actually, it's extremely healthy for, it's speeding up the process of decomposing. Okay. You use these microbes to kind of. Could you put a fake plant in that dirt? I suppose you could put if, any, like, any that, Ikea plant hey, would work. Aunt, yeah. Aunt Martha, you're pretty <laughs> fake in real life. You'll yeah. enjoy this and put like a fake plant in there. So this is actually considered to be more environmentally friendly than just a traditional burial because it takes such a long time, not just for the human body to decompose, but that the the casket yeah. takes forever. And that's just really preserving and protecting you to get real dusty yeah. inside there. So this is actually, I say this, technically better for the environment. Can you see what I'm doing with my On hands? the audio podcast? On the audio podcast. So Washington State was the first one to do this back in 2019. Several other states have actually said that they would do this. And uh, the recompost, is that what it's called? Yeah, recomposting facility is available in Seattle, Washington. There are six states that are doing it. There are a lot of other states lining up after this to do it because people, uh, they, there's some people that they want their loved one to be, you know, part of the tree that is in their yard. Mm -hmm. Or they they want to be and so like you can put your ashes in an urn I guess up on the mantle yeah. or something to, like that you have to earn that <laughs> don't you you do <laughs> hey Tyler <laughs> while I'm giving and delivering the news can you do some word association with things that sound like other things <laughs> that'd be great Tyler you know it'd be helpful for this podcast this co-equal podcast you is for you to just say to earn it yeah yeah the urn is that like all or up on a roof. What? Do you know how people say oil in the South? Oil. No. They say oil. 
Mm-mm. It's a real thing. I've heard him say it. I've never. Hey, how that. often you change that hole in your car? Neil, I'm not big on judging people for their accents. Okay. <laughs> so sorry. I'm sorry. No, 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 Neil. Tell me more. Yeah, okay. What's some other things that people so, so that sound like me? I can tell say, you what Neil. <laughs> I can tell you what AI says about this topic. Neil, yeah. great transition. There it is. Gosh, transition out of there. better than the robotic skateboard. I'm, I'm reading it. What? Because they're like segways. <laughs> you see what I did there? I did. It took okay. me a second. I didn't know you where looked at me like I broke. <laughs> I didn't know where we were going. <laughs> you were like you, you were like looking away. You went what? We broke Tyler. Your eyes said what? I don't know if we did the robot skateboard. So did what did Alan Iverson say? So about uh, this? AI, uh, artificial intelligence, Alan Iverson. Iverson. <laughs> Says we gave it three. It gives us three titles okay. for an article that is based off this recomposting of human bodies. Climate change. I, I hardly knew her. <laughs> that was very funny. I used to good. work with a guy, and good. every time he said a word, they ended with ER, and he would say that. For real? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, the second one is, if you won't do your part for the environment, your dead grandma will. I mean, it's true. We're all eventually doing our part. Yeah. Just some take longer than others. Yeah. Do you want to read this last one? Because this is my favorite one. Yeah. Reduce, reuse, recycle, Aunt Rita. <laughs> wow. That's brilliant. Yeah, you're like, hey, Tyler, how That's about brilliant. you read the most problematic? No, one no, no, no. That's the best one out of all these. Wow. Reduce, reuse, recycle, Aunt reduce, Rita. Reduce, reuse, recycle. You know what I'm it's talking brilliant. about? brilliant. You know what I'm talking about? I do. Okay, well, do you really? It's an ad. It's an ad. For... <laughs> Propecia. <laughs> I don't know what propecia hey, is. My moderate to severe plaque psoriasis that's says. What it is. Okay, that's what it is. Okay. I still don't know what that is. I don't either. Oh, it's catchy to say. I know what Pepto Bismol does. What's that? It's uh when you have uh <laughs> when you have itchy butt, you gotta oh, take it. Wow. I'm sorry. All right, guys. I this is uh hopefully all that I am. Hey, hey, listen, bring this up in an office meeting today. Yeah. In the middle of a meeting where you're talking about budget reports and whatever, you say, you know what? They're recomposting people now. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> and they won't. And then, they won't. And then and you explain it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're like, give this man a raise. And then, and then or you, woman oh, yeah. a raise. Give this person a raise. Give this person a raise. And then you hand them out business cards on the back of his QR code to like and subscribe to our <laughs> podcast. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks for coming. Hey. Later.